What's going on YouTube? Geos right here. So in today's video we have updates for Dopamine Jailbreak. A brand new version was released and it fixes a lot of important things. So you should definitely update your Dopamine Jailbreak right away. We're going to get into what is changed in a couple of seconds, but this video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SimLock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. You probably remember Dopamine Jailbreak released by OPA334. This one supports iOS 15.0 up to 15.4.1 on all modern devices. Like like A12 through A15 and even M1 devices. So your iPhone 13, 12, iPhone SE 2020, your iPhone 11, 11 Pro, stuff like that, these will all work with this jailbreak. And yes, this one is a jailbreak with tweaks and stuff like that, so it's a fully working jailbreak. Now, OPA334 just posted a couple of uh, minutes ago a new update, is the Dopamine version 1.1.3, which is now available, and this one will actually reboot your device instead of performing a user space reboot when you install the update, so it's normal to reboot into the non-jailbroken mode while you update to this. So if you go ahead in here on GitHub, this jailbreak is completely open source. The version 1.1.3 is available over here and it says that the changes are as follows. Transitions away from the old PPL read-write, transitions to a new method. This used to be an issue with the older versions, they had pretty big bugs with this. However, the fact that it transitions away from the old PPL RW method to a new one also breaks the jailbreak update. You can't update and perform user space reboot anymore that needs to be ported over right now if you update it will basically reboot your phone that's a minor inconvenience you just have to press jailbreak again then we have in here re enable launch the crash reporter in a way that cannot be detected by apps this is important because previous attempts to make this launch the crash reporter basically made applications to detect the jailbreak very easily so it was removed now it was re-added because it was fixed then we have the hide uninstalled jailbreak button when jailbroken and finally fix i download option not working and apparently it hasn't been working since 1.1 because of an issue with code signing. So definitely I would advise to go ahead and update, especially because of the transition from the old PPLRW method to a new one, which of course works better and it fixes a lot of remaining issues with the PPLRW. Definitely a good idea to update your dopamine jailbreak right now. This new version is available, as I said, on GitHub and of course on the official website, which is lkit.space slash dopamine. Now, if you're running this jailbreak, you should definitely check out my jailbreak jailbreak tool finder as well, which is a new tool that allows you to see if there is a jailbreak available for your iOS version on your device. So all you have to do is to navigate here on this page, select what device you have. For example, if you have an iPhone, you select it from the list in here. If you have an iPad, you select the iPads in here. And for iPod Touch, there is currently only the iPod Touch 7 because this tool only works for iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 17. I'm going to go with my device, which is an iPhone 11 in here. And as you can see, it goes to a different page, which tells you exactly if there is a jailbreak for which version or even exploit is released. So you can see for this huge range of versions in here, a new exploit is available. So even though a jailbreak is not currently available, it will be in the future. So it's best to stay on any of these versions in here. These in here do not have either an exploit or a jailbreak tool, so they are pretty dead. And these in here have a jailbreak, and in this case is dopamine jailbreak as I mentioned in this video. So definitely check the tool out, it tells you exactly what jailbreaks are available in a matter of seconds. So thank you for watching, update your dopamine, and till the next time, Peace out.